Okay, so Jesus over here is going to try some arc welding. We just got this set up uh, a few weeks ago, and so we're going to practice it, and hopefully he can learn how to strike an arc here. One of the Project Lead the Way classes we have here at East Harvard High School is Aerospace Engineering. And like the other Project Lead the Way classes, the focus is on the design process using hands-on projects and STEM learning, science, technology, engineering, math, and we also like to incorporate another M, math, manufacturing. And we go through the design process, learn about how engineers get ideas to make product. Technology Education Department, in addition to having these engineering classes, technical classes like the automotive, which I also teach, we also try to instill in students the important skills that they need to become good employees. And a lot of times students have to be shown to see the connections that are made between school and eventually being out in the workforce. So we're here, here we have Josh doing a test cut for his airfoil profile using a white foam because it's a little bit less expensive and just to get a practice on it. And then we go to the more dense pink foam which we're actually going to use in the winter. Uh, we started to study airfoils and the different shapes which produce lift. And because of that, we found out when an airfoil produces lift, it also produces drag. So ideally, what aerospace engineers look for is an airfoil design that has the highest amount of lift, but minimal drag. So in order to do this, we started on our project. Our students went and looked online for all different types of airfoils, something they think would produce the highest lift to drag. And from that, we got a lift to drag ratio. Once they chose their, what looked like a good design, they drew it on Inventor, which is a modeling program, computer-aided design, with the proper dimensions, and then produced a paper copy of their design, their model. Once they had that, they made a template, cut it out of sheet metal, and produced a foam airfoil, a 3D foam airfoil. Finally, the last part of this hands-on project was to put it into a wind tunnel and actually measure lift and drag of the airfoil and compare it to the results they had in foil sim and get it in a graph and so the students did all that, plotted it and then compared the results. So we're at 25 miles per hour, now watch what happens we go to 40. Lift is going ramping way up. But here again, this is where the STEM education comes into play, where science, technology, engineering, math, and manufacturing, students that have those types of backgrounds are going to be the most successful. And that's why we're offering here at the school to encourage students to follow these fields that incorporate it. And by all the hands-on projects that we do, we try to encourage students and show them that you know this can be, these can be real fun and interesting careers where they can build some very, very cool machines, products that are going to be used in their lives.